And every day we're reporting on new places reopening their doors to the public. Well, today, Zoo Atlanta welcomed a sold out crowd. You don't often hear about Zoo Atlanta selling out. That's because they normally don't cap the number of tickets sold. But as our Mara Siriani shows us, it's not the typical zoo experience that you're likely used to. Georgia is continuing to open for business. Another big indicator of that Saturday morning, Zoo Atlanta reopened to the public after being closed for nearly two months. Yeah, just finally something to do around town, you know, and it's a gorgeous day to boot, so. Adam and Sharon Troush, along with their daughter, couldn't wait to get out of the house, but not without taking some precautions. I got a mask right here. I have asthma, so I'm really going to make sure I wear my mask. On its first day open, Zoo Atlanta welcomed a sold out crowd. We have the advantage of being an open air park. And so we've got, we measured our linear square footage. We know exactly where we can pulse people through. So we've figured this out to the nth degree. Zoo leaders amping up safety measures, making sure guests, team members, and the animals stay safe. For starters, all staff members must wear a mask and gloves. Masks are also recommended for guests. The path is now one way, making the experience a loop around the zoo, and all indoor exhibits are closed. The only big one that's closed is our Scaly Slimy Spectacular, our reptile building. Social distancing markers have been placed on the ground. Additionally, staff members are only letting a certain amount of guests in the zoo at a time. We're doing time ticketing so that we can control the number of people so that our guests don't feel crowded and we can maintain that social distancing. Officials say you can stop to look at the animals, but you are encouraged to keep moving. The Troushes say it's just a nice way to get back a slice of normalcy. I've been cooped up and uh, staring at the same four walls. We're glad to get out of the house. 